Have you ever gazed up at the stars and wondered if we're truly alone in this vast universe? Welcome to an exploration of the Fermi Paradox, where we unravel the mysteries of cosmic silence and consider the question of whether we're the sole inhabitants of this galactic neighborhood. In this new series, we'll talk about five interesting aspects of the Fermi Paradox. Before we start talking about some theories, it would be best to understand exactly what the Fermi Paradox is. If you're familiar with what it is, then you can simply skip this intro. But for those of you that are new to the subject, it would be best to get a basic understanding of it. The Fermi Paradox revolves around a simple but exciting question. Where is everybody? In the universe of boundless galaxies, stars, and seemingly habitable planets, the absence of evidence or contact with extraterrestrial civilizations makes us question what we really know about the cosmos. Coined by physicist Enrico Fermi, this paradox questions why we haven't encountered any extraterrestrial contact yet, given the high possibility of other advanced civilizations existing in the vastness of the universe. It's not merely a question or theory, but a portal to a multitude of hypothetical scenarios probing the silence that surrounds the cosmic expanse. Despite the statistical likelihood of alien life, the Fermi Paradox isn't just about answers, but rather an exploration into the profound mysteries of our existence and the apparent silence in the universe that should be bustling with life. Imagine the reality where our universe, as we perceive it, is a meticulously crafted simulation, much like a computer-generated world. From ancient philosophical musings by Plato to modern-day scientific hypotheses posed by Nick Bostrom, this journey into the nature of reality takes us deep down the rabbit hole, exploring the mind-bending possibilities that our existence might be nothing but a sophisticated simulation. The roots of this theory, questioning the nature of reality, traces back to historical, philosophical, and scientific speculations. Ancient Greek philosopher Plato, with his allegory of the cave, and 20th century philosopher Nick Bostrom, with his simulation hypothesis proposed in 2003, are key figures in this discourse. Bostrom's hypothesis suggests three possibilities. One, civilizations at our technological level usually go extinct before reaching technological maturity. Two, technologically mature civilizations have little interest in creating ancestral simulations. And three, we're likely living in a computer simulation. The down the rabbit hole theory aligns closely with Bostrom's third proposition. It suggests that advanced extraterrestrial beings have created our universe as a simulation. These entities, for reasons unknown, have crafted a virtual world indistinguishable from reality, where humans unknowingly live and perceive a carefully fabricated existence. This theory comes from various sources, including the puzzling nature of quantum mechanics and the uncanny resemblance between the laws governing our universe and the rules of a computer program. Quantum mechanics, with its probabilistic nature and the observer effect, hints at a reality that adjusts and responds based on observation, much like a programmed environment. Additionally, the discovery of what some interpret as computer code embedded in the equations of string theory further fuel speculation about universe's artificial nature. Historical evidence also plays a role in this theory. Ancient mythologies like Hindu mythology, Vishnu, and religious texts like the Abrahamic creation story in the book of Genesis from the Bible that describes the creation of God bringing the universe into existence. These, often interpreted as allegorical or symbolic, are re-examined as potential references to assimilated reality. Stories of gods controlling and manipulating the world align eerily with the idea of alien overlords as programmers of our universe. Our wires are crossed. Picture a universe teeming with signals from advanced extraterrestrial civilizations, yet we remain oblivious to their existence. The theory on our wires being crossed flips the script on our traditional search for cosmic communication, hinting at the possibility that our methods might be failing to decode interstellar messages. It's a revelation that challenges our assumption that alien transmissions would mirror our own, suggesting that our current tools may be too limited to interpret the true breadth of extraterrestrial communication methods. This theory suggests that while other intelligent life forms may actively be sending transmissions into space, a significant mismatch in communication technologies and methods could be the reason why these signals remain undetected or misunderstood by us. Historically, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, or SETI, has primarily focused on detecting radio signals, 
This approach is grounded in the mid 20th century development of radio astronomy and the subsequent realization that radio waves, due to their long wavelengths and ability to travel vast interstellar distances, could be an effective means for interstellar communication. The famous Drake equation, formulated by astronomer Frank Drake in 1961, encapsulated this optimism by offering a probabilistic formula to estimate the number of active, communicative extraterrestrial civilizations in the Milky Way galaxy. However, the theory of our wires being crossed suggests that this human-centric approach might be our blind spot. It's possible that extraterrestrial civilizations are using entirely different forms of communication, such as advanced neutrino signals, quantum communication methods, or even something beyond our current scientific understanding. These methods might be more efficient or preferred by advanced civilizations, but would go undetected by our radio wave-based SETI programs. The theory also raises the possibility that the cosmos is thriving with communication signals that we simply can't perceive, similar to a human being unable to see certain colors outside of their visual spectrum. This analogy is proven by the discovery of exoplanets and the realization that the conditions for life might be more common than previously thought. This theory also offers a plausible explanation for the great silence in the cosmos. It suggests that our current search methods might be inadequate to detect alien communications, proposing that a broadening of our technological horizons in search methodologies could be key in unraveling this cosmic mystery. While still speculative, this theory encourages continuous innovation and open-mindlessness in the ongoing search for extraterrestrial intelligence. The Earth is a fishbowl. Imagine a scenario where a world is observed, cataloged, but remains untouched by the cosmic voyagers who watch over us. The Earth is a fishbowl theory whispers about the notion that extraterrestrial beings have chosen a hands-off approach to our development, lurking as spectators in the shadows of the universe. It's a theory steeped in ancient myths and contemporary sightings, suggesting that while they may know of our existence, they opted to let us evolve without direct interference. But is this idea rooted in reality or merely a figment of our collective imagination? The Earth as Fishbowl Theory offers an intriguing perspective on the Fermi Paradox, which highlights the contradiction between the likelihood of extraterrestrial life and the lack of evidence for such civilizations. This theory suggests that advanced alien civilizations know about us, but choose to observe from afar, allowing humanity to evolve without external interference. This concept echoes the zoo hypothesis proposed by astrophysicist John A. Ball in 1973, where extraterrestrial beings might avoid contact with us to permit natural evolution and socio-cultural development, similar to zookeepers minimizing disturbances to animals. The theory extends this idea, implying not only non-interference, but also constant surveillance. Support for this theory comes from ancient astronomical texts and Native American folklore across cultures, depicting celestial beings as observers or guardians of humanity, possibly early interpretations of an extraterrestrial presence. In contemporary times, the rapid advancement of human technology and increasing unidentified aerial phenomenons, or UAP sightings, have spurred speculations about alien surveillance, suggesting that our technological progress might have drawn attention from these observers. However, skeptics argue that this theory lacks concrete evidence and is based more on speculation and anthropocentric assumptions about the behavior of advanced civilizations. They contend that proving such non-interference and surveillance will be challenging. Destroy or be destroyed. Step into a world where the universe echoes with silence, not out of void, but out of a primal fear. The destroy or be destroyed theory dwells into the chilling concept that alien civilizations might cloak themselves in silence or adopt a preemptive aggressive stance to survive in the cosmic theater. Drawing eerie parallels from our own history, this theory speculates that advanced beings fearing competition or conflict either remain hidden or ready themselves for potential conflicts in the cosmic game of survival. But is this the speculation based on our own historical lens or a chilling possibility lurking in the cosmic shadows? The destroy or be destroyed theory 
offers a darker interpretation of the Fermi paradox, suggesting that extraterrestrial civilizations might operate under a principle of extreme caution or preemptive aggression through the fear of hostile encounters. This theory, drawing parallels with Darwin's theory of evolution and the concept of survival of the fittest, proposes that alien species might either remain silent to avoid detection and prevent threats or adopt an aggressive stance to neutralize future competitors. In Darwinian evolution, the survival of the strongest or most adaptable species is a key concept. When applied to interstellar relations, this theory hypothesizes that advanced civilizations might use silence as a survival strategy or engage in preemptive strikes against potential threats. This approach finds historical parallels in human behavior during the Cold War, particularly in the doctrine of mutually assured destruction, or MAD. Nations arm themselves heavily to deter attacks, a reflection of the fear that weakness could invite aggression. This period in human history might mirror a universal principle where civilizations see non-communication or preemptive actions as essential for survival. Evidence for this theory is speculative, based on the absence of observable interactions with extraterrestrial civilizations. The lack of detected signals could indicate civilizations hiding their presence, or the non-existence of advanced civilizations within our observable range might be due to preemptive destruction. Although this remains an unverifiable hypothesis. Space is simply too vast. Imagine going on a journey that stretches across cosmic distances, where the true enormity of space echoes silence into the void. The scale of the universe unveils a mind-boggling expansion that separates us from potential extraterrestrial neighbors, from our closest star being light years away to the cosmic revelations of other galaxies. Humanity grapples with the sheer magnitude of cosmic distances. But how does this grand scale impact our search for other intelligent life? Central to this theory is the incomprehensible vastness of space. For instance, Proxima Centauri, Earth's nearest star, is 4.24 light years away, a signal traveling at light speed. The fastest possible speed in our current physical understanding could take over four years to reach thus its nearest star. The time scales become exponentially longer for more distant stars and galaxies. Humanity's perception of the universe's scale has evolved significantly. Ancient civilizations view stars as relatively close, but it wasn't until the 1920s, with Edwin Hubble's work, that the immense scale of the universe and the reality of other galaxies became evident. This realization brought to light the logistical challenges of communicating across such enormous distances. This theory has significant implications for the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Since the mid-20th century, SETI has used radio waves to search for signals from intelligent life. However, due to the time required for signals to traverse space, any detected or emitted signals might be centuries old upon receipt. There's also the possibility that the civilizations that sent a signal could have evolved significantly or ceased to exist once the signal has been reached. Furthermore, even if extraterrestrial civilizations are transmitting signals, it's possible they haven't reached us yet, or our signals haven't reached them. For example, Earth's modern broadcasts have only been traveling through space for about a century, a brief period in cosmic terms. This theory offers a plausible explanation for the silence in our search for extraterrestrial life. It highlights the limitations imposed by the immense distances and the speed of light in the universe, suggesting that while intelligent life may exist elsewhere, the vast distances and timescales involved make detection and communication extremely difficult. We've barely scratched the surface of this cosmic puzzle, but there's still so much more to discover. The universe is full of mysteries, and we're excited to keep searching for answers together. Join us for part two, where we'll look into five more aspects of the Fermi Paradox. If you have anything you'd like to add about these five theories, share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated whenever I upload a new video. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comment sections below.